the least scary dog, out. a fucking poodle. Yeah. <laughs> Although t- poodles are a little bit gross, if you ask me. Mm. Oh, called, they're horrible. Do you remember what it was called? Ugly. Oh, no. Jackson. Ah, of oh course. <laughs> Big Brother goes, <laughs> Lest can, we forget. <laughs> can you give Jackson a little pat? <laughs> uh, give Jackson some watermelon. She goes, who's that? Jack- oh, for God, not this Oh, again. that Jackson. <laughs> Because when you think of when you say Jackson, I think of UK Big oh, Brother yeah. Jackson, surprisingly, yeah, Jackson who did George- very little. Was it Georgina or Georgia? Yeah. Georgina. Georgina. Um, he's like Jackson wants to say hello. Why um, did Jackson have a little graduation cap on? That's what I wanted. Yeah, why did <laughs> <laughs> he just graduated? And if so, from what? Congrats, Jackson. <laughs> Jackson has come to get his diploma. <laughs> <laughs> there was a little brush there as well, wasn't there? So I think there was more to that that, that we didn't see. Like she had to put a hat on him and dress him up oh. or something. Perhaps we're getting ready for his graduation photo. <laughs> um, you, what did Angela say about dogs? I uh, don't know. She said it's a fear of the unknown. Oh. they don't speak English. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's good. Yeah, the dog's secretly thinking, "Oh, this bitch." <laughs> 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 she says in Africa, the country, mm. we don't keep dogs in the house. It's true. That is the one reason why a lot of black people don't like dogs because it's just culturally you would yeah. just they would just be you wild know. and around. Yeah. And guard, guard dogs actually. Yeah. Dan says the same about um, Jamaica that mm. they, he he knows a British family that like moved to the to Jamaica with their dog. Yeah. And obviously it's a domesticated dog, mm. and people would like come around and see the dog and freak out. Yeah. Cause normally they're a guard the dog. Yeah, yeah. But actually, it's just a friendly dog wants to say hello, much yeah. like Jackson. <laughs> Perhaps they just graduated, but they can't tell you because they don't speak English. <laughs> How did he pass that degree when he can't even speak English? <laughs> That's the big question here. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make a pun that's related to bark, yeah. but I can't. Uh, um, then someone had a fear of snakes. Mm, boring. And they had to eat popcorn while they were in there. I'm not sure what the connection was oh, there. Yeah, was oh, it was Sophie. Dan. Was it Dan? No, that was a pigeon. He had to oh. eat ice cream. Oh, an, ice, yeah. an ice lolly. It was all around his face. It made him look all Ooh. gross. Someone had a fear of scaling fish. That's a that is one. not a fear. And a fear of grating cheese. Another fake fear right there. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Daniel was intimidated by the dirty pigeons. They love a bit of it. Oh, God, Gaz, why don't you know anything? What? Part life. <laughs> it's a blur lyric. Part life. Yeah, I know about part How life. How do you miss part life? Yeah, that's a line from part life. What, dirty pigeons? Yeah, oh, gets no. intimidated by the dirty pigeons. Oh, I know no. Guys, why is business or something that is known as? <laughs> You're <laughs> the only person who would not know that. Um, so, actually, my dad yes. has also got a phobia of pigeons. Does he? Yeah, so when we're walking on the street and a pigeon walks by, he, like, freaks. How does he feel like about it. seagulls? Fine. Really? <laughs> was that a reference to my hair? No, no, it wasn't. Seagulls are way scarier than pigeons. Oh yeah, they're snatching Seagulls are horrible. They're massive as well, like the yeah. size of a cat. No, bigger than a cat. Yeah, and also like if you're on the beach, they come right up to you like oh, their oh, eyes are like dinosaurs. <laughs> Mar- Mar- Gross. Um, yeah, so Dan found this scene of the pigeons a little bit hard Did to he watch. Have to leave the room? He had to put a cushion over his face. <laughs> um, he actually got a sweat on watching it. Did they? Big Brother said to Daniel, you're, Daniel, you're free as a bird when he was done in the competition. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, so they could press the panic button, but it meant they'd failed the task for everyone, didn't they? Oh, is that right? Yeah. And they won chocolate fountain, sweets, fruit oh, yeah. and champagne. It, wasn't, it was a reward competition, wasn't uh, it? Not a shopping task. Luxury competition. No, oh, fondue. Sense. I hate that chocolate fountain. It makes me feel sick with sort of licking that when other people have been licking it. <laughs> yeah, recycled. <laughs> Couldn't do that in coronavirus Ooh. times either. It's absolutely disgusting. Ian misses his pets. Mm. He goes, I think I miss my gecko the most. I miss my fish. I miss my spider. Oh, rest well, in peace. The question <laughs> is, can they speak English? <laughs> <laughs> you should have listed the spider first and Patricia. then maybe she would have held on another. Oh, Patricia, Patricia was watching that back. I was just like... <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, Mm. Who is looking after those animals? Also, I wonder Patricia you died. Can't cuddle a fucking gecko or a... no? I will tell you why Patricia died. Big Brother tried to bring her in for that fucking task. Oh yeah, and then maybe uh, like the dog that they brought in for that dopey one. You know they brought his dog in. Who's Chad? Oh yeah, and then I it think... died. No, the dog didn't <laughs> die. But don't you think they tried to bring Patricia in and she died en route? Oh, uh, do you think? Yeah, in cargo. Do you know that's a bit like something I saw on Facebook the other day. Mm. Someone was like. <laughs> we took this budgie in that mm. we found outside and sadly it's died of shock does anyone own it we're going to keep it for 24 hours <laughs> on the local Facebook group that is embarrassing it's died of shock yeah. it might have just died of I don't know something <laughs> anyway oh uh, yeah they could have killed Patricia Big Brother killed Patricia yeah possibly I think so 
Uh, so then there was this whole thing with Sophie and Chad, which we can gloss over. Yeah. But Big Brother was basically matchmaking and said, oh, I saw some oh, oh, yeah. stairs. And Big Brother, Sophie said, can you get him to talk to me, Big mm. Brother? And Big Brother agreed. Which is, is that too big, far? No, I it's don't like first think dates, isn't it? should be matchmaking. That's mm. not what I want. I wondered that too. And it was a point for me to ask you to no, discuss. No, I disagree with that. Mm. I was strongly opposed. He said about, <laughs> Chad said about <laughs> Sophie, she's an energising bunny. Mm. Energising. And the Australians do not know their phrases. Do they just like hear half of it, like, ah, that'll do, mate. Throw, throw us another tinny. <laughs> <laughs> throw another tinny on the barbie. <laughs> We're so racist against Australians. Bad. <laughs> the last minority group, Australians. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a house divide growing. Yeah. So it's Team Dahlia, I've said. Daniel mm. and Talia. Oh, that's quite a nice joint name. They don't deserve it. Okay. Yep. Tanyal <laughs> yeah. Co- colluding against Angela and Marissa Ooh. Magissa <laughs> <laughs> um, Casey said she has less chance of winning than Marissa mm. oh about what? Angela competitions and stuff Bong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Angela said King Dan and Queen Talia there's a dangerous group because there's a lot of them and Marissa- who said that? Angela mm. about Dan and Talia yeah and she, <gasps> is this when Marissa, uh, Angela started to like mount her attack and yeah. gather her army she said I'm going to build my own army and overturn this kingdom once the monarchy is gone I'm going to be thinking amen yes and it's saying amen <laughs> the monarchy <laughs> I want to overthrow the monarchy I can get behind that um, so the opposition consists of who I've got them here Kieran hmm. Danny Sarah Angela, Hannah, Marissa, and Marissa. Yeah. Mm. Do they have the numbers though? This is what I was asking. Do they have the numbers? And then Kieran started talking about they have got the numbers. Uh, yeah, but then Kieran backstabbed them. Oh, little bitch. Little snake. You're such a snake. A little rat. A little float of rat, Kieran. Tubby custard. <laughs> <laughs> little tubby custard. <laughs> At it again. <laughs> <laughs> Angela said that Talia doesn't know who the real queen is mm. and I've got an army I've put Angela's army all a bit limp <laughs> they are aren't they it's Little Angela bit. and Angela's then the rest Angela's basically is just, like yeah. Boudicca in a situation yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what was that tweet someone said this week about Angela carrying the whole weight of this series on her yeah. shoulders that was so true yeah. I followed that person they're good yeah it was good of course she needs a massage they said yeah Talia. that was it that was it um, so then Dan was slagging off Kieran again I don't know what that was and Grant said, target Angie, Kieran, and Marissa. Kieran. Grant? Gra- oh, yeah, I keep calling him Grant. Yeah. And I, Jack called me up on that. Grant, for fuck's sake. Kieran said he was going to make some drastic moves, and this is when he went and ratted out the misfits to Dan. Yeah, he went to the diary room after hearing Dahlia mm. plotting to evict him. Do you remember? Oh, okay. He was listening outside oh, the bedroom. So sneaky. actually, it was it a survival was... tactic on Kieran's I see. point, on Kieran's part. I see. And it actually. Probably wasn't did, a bad move. It kind of works. It did work. And Dan said, you only get one shot to go after Oh, yeah, you better, so you better make better it not, count. You better not miss. Um, and then Talia said, if Dan or I got it, there's going to be hell. Hell's that was bad. coming. That was, <laughs> hell's coming. Who was that? Andrew. Andrew. Hell's coming. <laughs> <laughs> it was very abrupt. Um, <laughs> I got it. I really... What is the point of Matt, by the way? He's got one T. Matt with one T. I know. I like could, Will with one L. I could give him two. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've never heard him say a single word. Um, so when Talia warned Angela mm. about this hell thing, that's when Angela really got the fire in her oh, belly. Oh, she went in the DR. She said she takes threats very seriously. Mm. As should Big Brother. Mm. They do sometimes. Mm. If it's Helen Wood, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> she said it's going to be angelicious, angelicious today, Ooh. but with poison in it. Ooh. Sounds like a perfume. <laughs> that is going to be that's going to be her perfume when she comes out. <laughs> so then we had the next nominations challenge. Oh, this was fucking good. It was hanging on a pole. This is when. No. This is when it? it all started to happen. It was the wind chimes one. Ah. So they didn't have any shoes on, which yeah. was painful, and they had to stand on those little pegs. Do you remember? I'm trying to think. I'm struggling to remember it. Yeah, this is I Angela's am. moment. Yeah, go on. So Not it's with like the water. A... No. No. It's the first. It's the go on. What was the first? This is Angela's gritty, o- gritty what... origin story. <laughs> oh, hanging onto the pole. Hanging with the on pegs. That thing. I got it. I got it. Like that CB yeah. BB celeb hanging onto the Oscar comp- competition. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but better. <laughs> but better. 
Uh, definitely far better. Yeah. Do you know what I appreciate about all these nomination cha- challenges mm. as well? The consistency and the look. They've all got pink mm, and blue colour and they look really good. It looks like Gladiator style, doesn't it? Yeah. All the exposed metal. Yeah. Mm. Um, so they've got to gradually step up on these pegs that get smaller. Mm. Looks really hard. To be honest, I, there were no notes they hear that I really made apart from who it came down to because I just was gripped by this competition. I've got notes. Have you? Uh... This isn't mind over matter, as BB said. This is physical. Mm. Yeah, BB said it's mind over matter. But it's a bit yeah. of both because you've got pain in your feet. Mm. Angela, I put, was looking tough. BB told Sophie to give Angela a tickle, and Angela's like, she Do reached you not over. F- yeah. yeah, she was gonna. Angela <laughs> yeah. was like, don't you dare. Yeah. <laughs> the men were struggling, and BB said, "Look at those big feet. <laughs> uh, it is a symphony of pain." <laughs> Chimes uh, reference. I like that. Xavier appears to be undressing. That's a different kind of pole. <laughs> That's what you said. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then when Talia fell off, Angela said, thank you, Jesus. Uh, 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 Mar- uh, Marissa lasted a long time in that competition. Way longer than you well, think. Well, Marissa is... Don't forget she's responsible for bringing Zumba to Australia or whatever it is. That's a good point. Aerobics or z- z- um, I know, yoga. Uh, um, and this is when Angela said, I want a cup of tea. I started putting her lip gloss on. The first iconic lip, lip uh, gloss put on. That was incredible. She pulled that... Yes, that is iconic. of her cleavage. Yeah. <laughs> um, Lip gloss bitches. Quite shaky putting it on, but she mm. got there. That was a bold was, move, imagine. I was really concerned. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen, have you ever seen someone get a bit cocky in yeah, an endurance comp before and then fail? Yeah. <laughs> I'd, I'd tell me what I've happened because I hadn't seen that. Uh, I think he thought he'd won, but he'd forgot you had to like press a button at the end or something. Okay. And he kind of went and wandered off or something. Like, someone else came and pressed the no, button. Yeah. <laughs> so... On UK Survivor, again, another like endurance type challenge was hanging from a beam above mm. some water. It came down to these two people. One mm. guy got really cocky and started to do pull ups oh. and then just lost it, slipped and I've fell. I've seen it. Obliterated the whole thing. And I thought this could happen to Angela mm. when you're one hand clinging onto that chime. Also, Jace in BB US, Alfie will appreciate this, he got a bit too cocky and let go of something. Yeah, seen, mm. it, seen it before. Oof, that was a deep. Not Queen Angela. Oof. No, Angela was. There for the drama of putting the lip gloss on and there well, for winning the competition. It was Sophie. She made a deal. Oh. She basically, Sophie made a deal. To I was be wondering safe. if anyone was going to make start making deals. You have to she, at that you, point, sure don't enough, you? Sure enough, they did. Um, it was Angela versus Sophie, who's an Olympian. So how, where does Angela exactly. get her strength from? Didn't Sophie break her back before the Olympics? Oh, yeah, that's probably <laughs> helped. <laughs> Where does Angela get... Angela don't look particularly fit. She said she don't do any exercise. Is I she don't lying? think that's true. She lying? Because if you look at, like, the gym attire that she's mm. got, mm. I feel like... So she's pretending. She looks very comfortable in it. I think she mm. probably does a bit of gym activity. Mm. Nothing too strenuous, probably, but I think, I think she's she does. just, like, strong mentally and physically anyway. Mm. I think the mental part of it is is a big part of it. Do you think it's growing up in Africa, it would be a bit tougher and you'd just be generally a bit tougher? I'm, I'm asking seriously. <laughs> it just makes me laugh when people say Africa because <laughs> it's a continent. So I didn't it's say like growing saying, up in the country of Africa. No, I said no. growing up in Africa. But it's like saying, do you think growing up in Europe? Oh, it yeah. It was like that. Um, do I think that? Probably not because I reckon she's probably from a privileged background. Mm. I don't know. There's something inside of her that's tough. Mm. So Big Brother said... Uh, do you have another two hours in you? Yeah, how long did this go on for? I don't know. Angela, we know that the next task was six hours. That was insane. So Angela goes, just get down, I'm going to win this and I've got your back. And uh, she said uh, she wanted to put Hannah up and Sophie said, bitch, if you put me up. And Angela said, bitch, come for me. Um, oh yeah, they then, started jibing. Yeah, now Sophie was trying to make deals for her, Chad, Talia oh, and yeah. Dan. I was like, fuck off, you can't Angela a deal. basically went, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Yes to all of this, yeah, but in yeah, reality, get no. Down. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, if she's like, making deals like that, she's about to fall. She's like, she's not quite yeah. Make deals for four people, get the fuck out of here. Worry about yourself four and get out, people. shut up. Yeah, and Angela was like smirking, going, yeah, 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 like, you're right. Um, so that was it, Angela won. Chiming in. <laughs> With all the deals. Yeah, nice. <laughs> So, the noms were uh, Dan, Talia, and Casey, which I liked because I don't, I hate that Casey. As but well. I do think Casey was effectively a pawn. Yeah, and I think this she is was. quite an intelligent decision from Angela, who wants to take out one of her two main rivals. I put Angela should have put Dan, Talia, and Sophie up for being a comp for it. <laughs> <laughs> don't you think? Yeah, but then it looks like you really don't. You come the next end of the competition yeah. if you don't honour your deal you're yeah. not going to be trusted by someone that's else that's true good point good point um, 
Zoe wants everyone to spread their votes. Mm. What's this all about? She said uh, she doesn't I want to be responsible. I want everyone to spread their votes. She didn't want to be respond- <laughs> responsible for someone leaving. Well, then don't come.